Howdy, howdy, everybody. Howdy, humans. I hope you're all hearing a bit of a little difference in how things sound, at least for me right now. <laughs> I finally got it. I got the Sennheiser. My audio issues are uh, mostly fixed. I don't want to say completely. Um, things I have discovered. Um, Sennheiser is still a... It's not as bad as the Razer Siren Mini was. It's not as bad... I'm holding it right now. It's got its fucking pathetic little cord wrapped up around it. Um, like the fucking disappointment it is. Or whatever it is on it. You know, I'll go in I'll go into that in a bit. But but um It's it, and it's a little iffy on um like it's a little iffy on consonants. Like, when it's the first thing I've, uh, said. Like, here's an example. <clears throat> cool. 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 Here's another. Two. 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 Now, it might have sounded like I was saying, uh, cool. And, uh, ooh. I was say what I was saying in actuality was cool and two. Those are that's what I was saying. When I start off with those uh letters, it doesn't when I start off with those words, when I start off with words like that, it doesn't quite work out. Also, another thing I'm noticing. Um so another thing I've learned about the Sennheiser. Um where I have this thing pointing really fucking matters. Like, I knew it mattered, but, like, it really fucking matters. Because earlier, I had it angled way downward. And it was picking up, like, a bunch of noise on my desk and shit. And, um, I, like, just before stream, I angled it up. I angled it upwards a little bit and raised the tight some. And now, like, it's not really catching desk noises. However, it's picking up my voice a lot better now. <laughs> And thus, I have noticed I have been peeking quite a bit more. We're going to tweak that real quick. Just a smidge. Just, just a little bit of in-stream tweaking. Don't, don't mind anything. Don't mind anything whatsoever. Whatsoever. Do not mind anything. At all. At all. At brother, my brother in Christ, <laughs> the word at is not that bad. Stop it. <laughs> A's A sounds are not that bad. Like, like strongly. Ah, stop it. I mean, I know, I know it going full red isn't that bad, but like it bothers me. It bothers me mentally. Ah, ah. This is clippable, by the way. Somebody, like, somebody clip this. this. This looks stupid. I'm great at that. <laughs> I am fantastic at looking stupid. In any given context whatsoever. Eh. 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 Okay, that seems to work. I need to fix it for uh, the other one. Let me just uh, do this real quick. Get off that. There we go. I, I, I said get off of it. Get off of it. There we go. Okay. Just falling it off real quick. Sorry if he's a little loud in comparison. We're fixing it. Now this fucker's gonna peek no matter what I do. Ah! 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 Yeah, he is just gonna do it no matter what. I'm content with that. This thing isn't meant to be used all the time. But this guy, this, this dumbass, who spent $300 on a microphone, he does need to, he does need to do this all the time. Huh. This is a look, man, I was sick of audio bullshit. What can I say? <laughs> Though, um, to go on more about my audio bullshit, 
I really don't feel like it was the Razor Siren Mini. It might have changed. It might have tweaked out a little bit. Potentially, it's possible. I think it was voice meter. I don't know what happened. Voice meter just like how it worked, how it functioned just wasn't anymore. It was really weird. And when I reinstall everything, like nothing like it was working the same way. Like when I first did the voice meter to improve my microphone quality before I got this thing, and I'm just using the raw microphone right now. Voice meter is not involved. Anything applied to this is within OBS itself. But when I went ahead and um reinstalled voice meter, everything, every nothing was the same anymore. Like my audio quality just was significantly worse. It wasn't the fire and forget that was before. Hold on, I'm moving my fan a little bit. It is hot as fuck in here. Hot as shit. Humid technically, but I don't talk about that. But yeah, like I don't know, man. I feel I feel like the main culprit is voice meter. And given I, you know, kind of want my microphone to sound decent. Well, I had to do something, so I did something, and now we're here. Sennheiser MKE 600, that, that, that's what it's called, right? I'm looking at the box. Yeah, and, and, and the MKE 600, that's what we're rocking. <laughs> and overall, I think it'll be a good purchase. This day, I will not need to replace my mic ever again. I will never need a new mic ever again, provided I take care of this thing, which I will. I'll get a fucking dust cloth. I'll get a fucking dust cloth. Like the fucking instructions tell me to clean this thing off. Yeah, like this thing. Mwah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Breathtaking even. Let's go ahead and get into the game. I have stalled long enough. We have farming to do. Amidst other activities. Like killing shit. And moving to the game. Off music like so there we go okay uh yeah everything's working fine continue continue bro that fucking line from smash bros melee is like locked into my head for the rest of my life fucking continue it lives rent free in my head Which will never leave. But if anything's uh, a little off with the mic, uh, just let me know, and I'll try and look into it and try and deal with it. Like the main issue I've noticed is it's just really like those like words like cool, like too. When I start off with those, it's a little iffy on picking up like that initial like t or k sound, and then it just it, it just has the vowels. This thing's great at picking up vowels. Fantastic at it. Stellar wheat. Look at all this wheat. I'm gonna put the wheat in the flour mill. The came for you. Shut the fuck up. I don't care about you. You sound depressed. It was horrible. <laughs> that was a horrible thing to say. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's see here. So, nothing else is growing right now. Correct. Do I have any seeds? No, I do not. Okay. I'm gonna put... There. Shit. The one. The one back. I didn't want to do that. One for storage. That in there, that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there. Um, that in there, that in there. And everything else should be good. Extra sort. Lovely. Okay. Letter for me. Apologies and thanks. I fear I embarrassed myself during my presentation and let the children down in the process. 
Hemos strive to do better to earn back their trust, and for the sake of their dreams. Anyway, I would like to repay you for your assistance with the presentation. Perhaps a delicious meal at Chitola's bar will suffice. Come meet me there in the evening. I look forward to seeing you. Signed, Piney. Ah, uh, I hate time-specific bullshit. I want to go back to Shitola. I spent the whole fucking stream there practically last time. I don't have enough stellar wheat for the next thing. To cook. I can't cook. I even live, bros. Brother, I'm gonna have to... Brother, I'm gonna have to, like... Do a lot of cooking at some point. <laughs> I feel it in my bones. Let's give it our all today. Okay. What do I have in the storage box right now? Because I do... Wait, wait, what the... Where did all these seeds come from? Farm crop bears fruit in fall. Summer. How long have I had these? Brother. Spring, summer, it's summer. Summer. Spring, spring and fall. Fall. I'm gonna move these water bottles I have. I have three up here today. We got, we got him with that bam. I got him with that bam, Stephanie. Bam. Look at that. The bam. bam. Do it again. Bam. All right, let's try. Do I just throw this wherever? No, I do have to. Gotta hit him with the bam. With the bam. Biggie bam. Bam! I'm sowing so much seed. And I'm not going to need any of it. Okay. Alright. Put one here. We'll put one here. Nice and aesthetically pleasing, kind of, sort of, not really. What I do got, though, corn. I'm gonna pop it later, too. Just like your mom last night. This spring and summer, right? Wait. It's a cave crop. Okay. Never mind. Alright. Press the wrong button. There we go. Water the seeds. After soon. Now reap. And I'll eep. Those ones can't be dealt with correct. The toll and paprika. I am paying no attention to the things I'm planting because I do not remember planting that in the slightest whatsoever. I love how my energy goes down for watering. Like, God, I know. Gravity doing all that work for you. It's so exhausting. I, I, I feel so bad. Eat dry leaves, you fucking bitch. We're gonna save. Ugh. Miller Jr. No. Fuck you. Alright, uh, I do need to go down there. Let me look. A man named Heine. Still need to go back. I still need to go back to asshole. You go to Heine later. 7 p.m., 9 p.m., bullshit. 
still need to go see that, and I still need to go to the other place. Let's go visit the... You know. Visit the depressed unicorn. God, what voice did I give him? I think I might have given him a Heine's voice on accident. Hmm? Oh, it is you! The winged bug creature did. You must remember all about my search for the princess, isn't that right? Well, I have searched this area high and low, and have finally arrived at something of a stalemate. I wish to travel further, catch these legs, and gallop into the unknown, but I am able to do so alone. Ah, the most exciting part! I require a servant, and word has it your unreasonably short human legs have carried you quite the distance. So, what say you? Will you travel at my side as my faithful retainer? Does it pay well? <laughs> Stingy lout! In joining me on my glorious crusade, not compensation enough! Oh, it is? Ahem. Very good. Rise, I hereby grant you the honor of serving as my minion on my journey. Although I worry whether you alone will do a reasonable enough job. You should watch your manners. How dare you? You! Accusing me of ill manners only proves your own discourteousness. I will not tolerate impertinence from a steward. My concern is regarding your being struck by amnesia. Now, if we're to search for my princess, then we will need an additional number with knowledge of the locale. Well, hiring? Does anyone come to mind? I want to go see. I want to go see it, Tina. I want to go see Hips McGee. Fine work. I get the feeling you will make a great seneschal. With that settled, why don't you escort me to where we might find them? Shrug. Why the dilly dallying? Quickly now, escort me to the know-it-all you know so well. Very pretty, uh, pretty pond you got over there. Just being honest. Very pretty. I would live here. What's the rent? Okay, let's go see it's Tina. Is Tina more like is enormous? Aha. Funny joke. I am a comedy genius. All of wit. And joy. I don't know where I'm going with this. Send help. Aw, <laughs> oh, dude, I just remembered. Um, fucking... So I had a presentation in school today for my econ class, and by... <laughs> it didn't go very nicely. <laughs> I had a uh, very... I, it was a rough... Rough time. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it, 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 it fucking is Stina's on the guardrail. But, um, yeah, like, I, I knew what I was talking about. I had read the paper, I had made my, I had assembled my little fucking PowerPoint and everything. I just was fucking, I just had not practiced, and the person I wanted to practice with was busy at the time, so I just winged it. And I just, I just floundered quite a lot. One of the worst presentations I've ever given. But that shit, I had to do a paper on like fucking like uh, climate and like uh, CO2 emissions and shit. And like uh, funding and adaptation fund. And uh, carbon tax and a bunch of other shit. And I like carbon tax, so don't get me wrong. I I'm, have some, I have opinions on carbon tax. I think it's a really good idea. I think it's one of the most efficient and fair ideas you can have for dealing with climate shit. But it's like peanuts to land value tax. If I had gotten a land value tax paper, brother, I wouldn't have even needed to make a PowerPoint. I would have only done it just because the assignment required it. If that shit was on land tax, brother, I would have murdered that shit. 
It would have been slaughtered. You wouldn't even be able to, the, the paper would cease to exist. It would burst. Double check my sound effects. <laughs> obvious joke is not, is totally not obvious. It would have burst into flames immediately because my arms are on fire. The ideas on that paper would leave the minds that crafted it and come out of my mouth. Both my mouths and said, Slaughter! Destroyed! Obliterated! But no. Uh, I, I got, uh... I got, um... Did that. And like, I knew it. I knew what I was talking about. I just fucking did not give a good presentation. Is the issue. <laughs> I love how... <laughs> just like, who's your friend? <laughs> I am the great unicorn of the cryptids. You have been recommended by my newest postillion, Rhymes. Therefore, I am here to confirm you will make an adequate maidservant before we depart. Maidservant? Rhymes, I think this requires some explanation. <sighs> Thank you. So you need help searching for your princess. Precisely. Now, maid, if you have any pertinent information, then you best share it. I might, but before we go any further, may I ask you not to call me maid servant? Excuse me, you are an acquaintance of Rise, are you not? In terms of hierarchy, you are equals, and as his lord, that would make me your lord as well. Dot, dot, dot. I suppose it isn't that important. So about your princess, this wouldn't be the same princess of Castle Lewis by chance. The one in the same. Then it may save us some time if we just go straight there. There's a castle east of Shatola, that is Castle Lewis. I can even show you the way if you need. Why, well that would be most gracious of you. We would like to go immediately. Ah, although actually getting an audience with the princess might... You know, what seeing for yourself would be easier than me trying to explain it here. Are you ready to go? I'll let the others know I'll be away from the orphanage for a while. All of the children will starve. This is for the greater good, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Alrighty. So we still get to go to a Shitola, guys! We still get to go to Shitola! <laughs> we go to Shitola for the rest of our life, Ola! One million years, Shatola! Oh, <laughs> uh, somebody end it. Oh yeah, I forgot all about this. Like to- there we go. Can't you just let me go once? I've asked so many times. Jerry, for the last time. It's dangerous outside pneumonia. There are monsters lurking everywhere. I know, but I really want to get out of town. Don't be silly. No parent in their right mind would let their child leave town all on their own. I'm not a child anymore. I'll be fine. Anyway, if you're so worried about me, why don't one of you come with me? I would if I could, but I'm snowed under with work. There's no snow here, just these cherry blossoms. I wish I saw snow. I always wanted to make a snow angel. Work, 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 work. That's all you ever talk about. That stupid fucking Katy Perry song. Or is it pink? I don't even fucking remember. You're just saying that because you don't want me to go. That's not true, Sherry. <laughs> Run away. Terry! Wait. <laughs> I'm going home to get bread in my mouth and then I'm running away. <laughs> oh, Cherry. Is everything all right here? Oh. Oh, you saw that, didn't you? We just had a little disagreement with our daughter. She's gonna go into the forest and get eaten by some monsters. Ain't no big deal. She ain't tasty. She'll come back with like 
one of her arms. It'll be fine. <laughs> Hope you didn't get hurt, by the way. She almost barged right into you. I'm one of those Japanese animes. Me. Got Japanese cherry blossoms here. Shit. Are we in Japan? Hmm. Oh, that cherry. I wonder where she's going running off all of a sudden. She'll be back when she gets hungry. Oh no, I hope she isn't trying to leave pneumonia. We have to stop her. I wouldn't put it past her. Excuse me, could you please help us find Cherry? Sorry to drag you into this when we've only just met. No problem. Oh, thank you. We appreciate it. Our legs stopped working a little bit ago. Let's split up and search for her. My wife and I will go and ask the Argus Brigade if she has left pneumonia. You could ask around town. That would be great. Nod. Thank you. Let's hurry. She who wants to see us. See, God fucking damn it. We're going back to Shitola again. I hate this. I'm tired of Shitola. I don't want to be in Shitola anymore, man. I'm tired. I'm tired of Shitola. Oh my god. Thing up here. Must go. Must go. Get thing. There's still more things up here. Child, have you seen a girl? I just saw Cherry. She was running so fast she almost ran me over. Good thing I'm quick at dodging. <laughs> I would have fallen over this guardrail and fucking died. Oh, you're looking for her? In that case, she went towards the observation deck. She looks really upset about something. If you find her, please cheer her up. The observation deck, she could fall off there and fucking die like I almost did earlier. Haha. <laughs> Pardon, did you say you were looking for Cherry? I haven't seen her today. Sorry, why? What's wrong? What? Are we talking about the same cherry? That's so out of character for her. Well, she was trying to get out of pneumonia, actually. She must have been desperate, because she even came and asked me how to get out. I didn't tell her, of course. It's dangerous for a girl to go on her own. <laughs> Brother! Do you like... Is there a cloaking device on the front gate? The fuck? Anyways, um, observation deck. Move, small child. <laughs> Man, these stairs sure could use a guardrail. I could fall off them and fucking die. <laughs> I'm just giving this child a fascination with her own death. <laughs> I specifically ones where she would fall. I just hear- I can hear her voice from up the- I can just hear from up here. Man, it sure looks- it sure looks really tall up there. <laughs> I bet you could fall off and you just fucking die. A red stain on the pavement. Just a darker shade of the cherry blossom petals here. Nobody would notice. Go up this way. Every day I wake up, there's more shit to do. Children, why are you fighting? I have a blood sport. Kill each other now. Well, give it back, that's my dolly. Stop being such a crybaby. I asked if I could borrow it. Give it back. <laughs> Oi, you cheeky monkeys, what's going on here? That was not a man's voice. I'm keeping it. 
You made a girl cry again. What have you done this time? Oop, Leo. I don't know why she's crying. I just wanted to borrow a toy. I did ask. Did he? He did, but he took it from me first. Aha. Uh -huh. So he'd already taken it when he asked you if he could borrow it. Uh, I thought of it after. Now, you know she ain't been in the orphanage for very long. As a senior, you should know better than to treat her like that. You want to borrow a toy? You have to ask my permission first, okay? Okay, sorry. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Sorry, it took you, doll. It's okay. Good. Now, all friends, play nice, okay? Oh, those cheeky monkeys. They can go for some Vegemite right now. Looks like we didn't have to intervene. Is that boy an orphan too? <laughs> yeah, he's been here his whole life. I'm still new here, so I've got a lot to learn, but I have to admit, Leo's basically been doing my job for me. He's a great role model for the younger kids. He always goes out of his way for them. So mature for her age. Yes, but there's something that's been playing on my mind recently. I think he's been sneaking out of the orphanage and I'm leaving pneumonia. Just happened to see him once in a while while I was on night patrol. I tried asking him about it, but he just made some vague excuse and brushed it off. Sounds kind of sus. I do trust him. What I don't trust is Among Us references. Please jump off the railing immediately. I don't suppose you could find out what he's been getting up to, could you? I could check up on him myself, but I'm too busy at the orphanage to get away. <laughs> I always love the denial ones. Thank you. There's some bad people out there. I'm just so worried about who we might meet. Thank you so much. Come back to the orphanage. At night. <laughs> Two secrets. Holy shit. Who? The word I can't say in my mic properly, too? You know what two is? I gotta do it myself. Nobody's here right now. <laughs> at, le at least nobody in chat. Not sure if we got lurkers. If we got lurkers, I appreciate you. But as far as I can see, especially since I had my uh, viewers disabled because, you know, I'm self-conscious. Pick here at 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. Child or Heine? Both options aren't too agreeable. The child is still more mature than Heine. By God, that's... That's just depressing. Okay. Um... Still haven't gotten the thing up here. Let me go up there. We're still spending marginally less time here than we were in, uh, fucking Shatola. Every five seconds, something was going on. <sighs> Even asshole won't help me. The thought of it probably scares him silly, too. Am I gonna have to save her myself? But I'm not much of a fighter. What's up with asshole? I asked him for help. I thought he'd be more willing than he turned out to be, though. Who are you, anyway? I don't think I've seen you around here. You a traveler or something? Yeah, I thought as much. Dot, dot, dot. What have I got to lose, eh? Look, traveler, don't suppose you'd do me a favor, would you? Come with me to the Heaven's Egg. I've got my reasons, obviously. You heard about the kidnappings that had the town up in arms a little while back, right? It'll make it much faster if you did. Truth is, it's about my wife, Mora. She got herself wrapped up in it, too. Bella, thank you for the head pads. Glad to see you. Hmm. Hope things have been good for you, uh... 
Not sure if you got off work yet or not, or if you're at school, but whatever's going on, I hope it's going as smoothly as it can. Hmm. Glad to have you here. Even if you're just busy and can only lurk right now. <laughs> Everything's calmed down now, but you still ain't come home. You don't think your wife is dead. You think she's dead? Like you'd have a dead wife? Dead? Murdered? By monsters? Dead? Dead wife? No more wife? Your wife? Dead? Dead wife? I asked the Argus Brigade to help me search for her first. But they said they're too busy and couldn't spare the manpower. I thought that said lawnmower for some reason. I do not know why. Yeah. Got no one left to ask, huh? I can't do it all alone. Please, I need your help. I know I've sprung this on you, but I need to say Mora. Okay, but just this once. Cheers, I owe you big time. The dead wife. I'm off to get ready. I'll meet you at the entrance to the Heaven's Egg. We shall leave him to fend for himself in the pits. And die. I'll seem to go to asshole. Uh... There's things on level two. I'm just mostly killing time to go see a uh, fucking Hein. I can relate to having a presentation not go well. Right. First to the right. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Okay. Uh, oh, that's fucking Leo. That's the Australian child. Fucking Le The idea of a kid going cheeky monkeys is adorable to me. <laughs> cheeky monkeys! I'm sticking with keeping him Australian. Cause that's funny. Um, you're that person I almost ran into earlier, aren't you? I'm sorry, I just snapped. Oh, you don't mind? Thank goodness. Your parents are looking for you. I know, but I don't want to go home. I want to go to the beach. Before you tell me it's dangerous, I know that already. I still want to go to the beach. Why the beach? How many times can we say beach in this <laughs> in this conversation? Well, I mean, why wouldn't you? I want to see it. There's nothing but fields and forests around pneumonia. I've always dreamt of seeing the beach, that's for. By the way, you're not from pneumonia, are you? Your fashion sense is kind of ugly. Damn it, I can't say beach. This game's... Ah. <laughs> Trying to be funny. I live close to Leif. I knew it. No wonder I've never seen you around. Oh, I'm so jealous. Travelers can go wherever they want. I bet you could go to the sea. Didn't say beach. Oh, that's it. Could I ask you a favor, please, traveler? Only if you go back to your parents. Deal. I'll go, so please do this for me. I would love it if you could please bring me a shell. I don't mind where it's from. It can be from any beach that you visited. <sighs> hmm. There's no escape. There's no fucking escape from a shola, Shatola. I hope I could go too someday. No point dwelling on that now, though. Can't wait to see what shell you'll bring. Come back to me when you found one. I'll be waiting here. One million years, Shatola. One million years, Shatola. One million years, Shatola. One million years, Shatola. One milliola year, Yola, Shatola. <sighs> 
can't escape, man. That place is a fucking magnet. All my quests have been in Shatola lately. We're having another Shatola stream. I just had it as the stream title because I thought, oh, last time we we couldn't leave Shatola. Haha, -ha, bunny. No, you're stuck in Shatola. Deal with it. Mm. This is your home now. Shatola. Hurry, Milla Jr. It's that castle. What was that a uh, blue light up there? The random blue light. Chitola, more like Chitola High Circuit. <laughs> Welcome in. I can't wait to set you on fire later, just like old times. It's been a while, actually. We've been doing well. I don't think I remember you showing up for stream last week. Like any of them. You're fine, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, hope you've been doing good, man. Ayn's letter said this was a spot. Oh, yeah, I was moving. Oh, I gotcha. I'll see you here in the new mic. Hope you like it. We won't talk about the price tag. But yeah, I've uh, I've, I've 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 upgraded the mic to what I wanted. So yay. Yeah. No. I hope it sounds all right. I've tried to optimize this as much as I could. But, uh, yeah. The only thing I really had to apply was a noise gate. I already got the compressor and the, um, limiter, ever, and the noise suppression. You know, just basic shit. I did have to add a noise gate, though. It is a fairly sensitive mic. Not as sensitive as the other one, though. That's for sure. Alright. Were you waiting long? <laughs> Lie. Oops, my apologies. That was never my intention. How about I buy you something? My treat. Anyway, shall we go in? I'm about to get depressed over children not liking my submarine for the next 30 minutes. Welcome. Kept the table open for you. Thank you, bartender. I see you're drawing the crowds, as always. <laughs> Flatter me all you want. I won't give you a free drink. I would never dream of it. So, Rise, let's take a seat. There's Emo. There's emo doing emo things. Like not being human trafficked. Ah, uh, that presentation the other day was quite the struggle. The thought of those children one day being my accomplices makes me worry about the future. Wow, the accomplices sounds like chaos. If I had a pretty lady by my side, however, I feel like I would be able to achieve anything. <laughs> would you like a refill? Ah, uh, I suppose I would. What's this? I haven't seen your face here before. Are you new? Huh? Oh, um, yes. Yes, I am. Well, aren't I the lucky one? I've stepped foot in this tavern countless times and not once have I seen quite a beauty like yours. I, b b but That's enough, hon. I won't have you trying to sweet talk the new blood. Off you go now. Other guests are calling. Uh, okay, excuse me. Bartender, you're so cruel. I nearly won her over. I catch you laying a hand on my staff and I'll lay my hands on you, got it? Oh, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Very well. I'll abstain from showering the girls with the praise they deserve. <sighs> you never used to be this much of a sleaze. He was different. Now I'm curious. 
Use the complete opposite. Straight lace is the word I'd use. Hard to believe such a guy ended up turning into the womanizer you see today. Come now, bartender. One man shouldn't divulge in another man's past. What are you ashamed of? The truth is, you were an upstanding gentleman. That's not what I have a problem with. <laughs> Smooth moves, tiny. Looks like another misfire for the local ladies, man. <laughs> hey, hey, there was no misfire. She was putty in my hands until I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> you still shoot your shot and you missed. And you fired. And you missed. And you missed again. You missed both times. Had yourself a popsicle. You passed out in the sand on the beach. What say you, Heine? Maybe someone rich with experience like me can teach you a thing or two. First step. Prostitution. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm afraid I'm not about to beg for advice from an old drunk. You're missing out. All it would cost you was a drink. By the by, I heard you've been showing up in your gizmo to those whippersnappers. Are you talking about my submarine? That's the one. Don't tell me you're still souping up that whatchamacallit. If by souping up you mean inventing, it's already completed. Invented, schmentin. Just be careful you don't turn into old Fiasola with all that mumbo jumbo. You're about to fucking die. I may not know much about inventing, but only fools waste their lives going about chasing silly dreams. <laughs> Cause I have no dreams. <laughs> My dreams were crushed. Ages ago. But a loser like you still has yours. <laughs> it's enough of that. Don't mind him, he's too drunk to know right from wrong. No, oh, it's fine, really. I don't care what he has to say. I'm just stepping out for some fresh air. No problems. No emotional trouble whatsoever. Don't mind me. Just go outside. If you hear screaming, or anything that resembles crying, it is... the wind. And the seagulls. Bitches! Raz, would you mind seeing if he's okay? Do I have to walk out there, or am I gonna be put out there? <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, Raz, sorry for just walking out like that. It was via Sola. I'll tell you all about her when the time is right. I think for now we should call it a night. I have some things I need to consider for the next presentation. What a fright. That was a poem. I'm going to write that down. Oh, physical attack went up. That's a piece of the candy. Wait for the Lex ne Lexed Netter from Hein to arrive. Okay, let's go in here. Complete a quest, apparently. How oh, many quests in Shatola? I guess it happens to the best of us. I was bound to get burnt playing with fire, falling for the charms of a bad guy. I got so wrapped up in that, I didn't notice the person who was there for me all along. Life really is bittersweet. What happened? Ah, you were listening. I just realized that I've been clueless about someone's affection. You've done so much for me. Woman? They put me first and came to my rescue, even though they didn't have to. I'm not... I'm not dating you. They loved me all this time and I was blind to it. Uh, you're already into someone else? <laughs> you should know. The person who is in love with me... 
is you. Yep, it's you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't be shy. If you didn't love me, then why did you stick by me all this time? I had no choice. Oh, you're so silly. <laughs> but I like that about you. But I know what you really meant. Oh my gosh, we have no time to lose. We have to find a house for our new life together. I can't wait to start this new chapter with you, Rise. Oh, sorry. You haven't actually said anything yet. You haven't stopped talking long enough. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so anyway, I want to know what you think. Should we furnish the house in traditional Shatula style or Demoni style? It's all the rage these days. Oh, don't tell me you want to move to Arjean? Oh my gosh, your eyes are spoiling me. I would love that. We're moving up in the world. What better time to go to now? Arjean, here I come. I hope you have a lovely house ready for us. I'll be waiting for you to join me, Rise. Come dressed warm, okay? I will leave that woman to die alone. More paprika. And a fish. I'm imagining her just throwing money and <laughs> seeds and a fucking shrimp at me on her way out. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let me go ahead and find anything else in Chitola. I need to do Ola. Go to the... Did say before 4, though. Down there. Or did it? Hold. We shall see. What is here for me? We. Oui. I'm here before 4 p.m. That doesn't make sense. I'm grabbing a fucking seashell. There's shells on the beach. They're they're there. Textured. They they exist. They're real. Brother. Alright. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. I'm yawning, but we ain't close to Dumb stream yet. I'm just gonna take a quick little ad break. This is gonna be a great time for y'all to go ahead, get some drinks, get some snacks, use the bathroom, do whatever y'all humans need to do. And once we come back, we're gonna get back to, uh, to more Shatola. I can never fucking escape Shatola. Ain't it lovely? Anyways, with all of that being said, bye for now.
Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back. Hope y'all had a good break. Hope y'all got done whatever you need to get done. I'm just adjusting my, uh, just adjusting my, uh, iPhone a bit. For tracking. I felt like when I, uh, would stretch my back, it was, it was getting a little, uh, just picking up on it too much. I mean, I guess it's a little inevitable, but like, still. We'll see if that helps. Any but. Uh, let's get back to it. Now we go to a castle. A crassle. An asshole. Wait, Basil's in here right now. This castle looks really cool, though. Here it is, the castle. It's... A member, of course. That is where I... Princess! What was that? Is your horn just struck by lightning? Tis my celestial vessel, not a horn. And it seems fine enough. There is no mistaking it, my loyal retainer. The princess is here. <coughs> That's right. Princess Little. Castle Lewis. Like the grocery store. This is the princess you're searching for, right? Correct. I am a servant of a royal highness, Princess Little, like the grocery store. I would behoove you to refer to her with higher reverence, being servants to the servant of her majesty. Yes, well, I'm sorry to disappoint, but those looking to meet her will struggle to get an audience. Eh. Don't tell me. She's dead? Dead princess? Dead? Do not jest! I'd like to say they're wrong, but there's actually no way to know for sure. What? Bro, the fucking, like, anime, like, fucking, like, star eyes on him. <laughs> Nobody has enter ever entered Castle Lewis, or at least that's how the saying goes. How could that be? Gates to Castle Lewis have never opened. It's said that a noble bloodline watches over the people from high in the castle. Nobody's ever been able to enter and ascertain if that was true or not. Has anyone seen a hint of people from inside the side of this or inside from the side of the drawbridge? Is there we know for certain? Dot dot dot. In other words, Princess Little, like the grocery store, has never granted anyone an audience. So there's no way for us to confirm whether anyone inside is alive or dead. Nobody has so much seen them. They did happen to still be alive. They must be terribly lazy royals. Just watching ordinary folk live their lives, never offering any assistance them in times of need. Also, how the fuck do they get food in there? Like, water. Or anything. Like, the, like the practically like hobos. In a really tall cardboard box. Preposterous. Why, I myself have spoken to Princess Little like the grocery store countless times. I have vivid memories of the castle interior stored in the recesses of my magnificent brain. Now I can see her. Princess! There's the fucking star eye again. I don't think my heart can keep up with outbursts like that. It's all pretty mysterious. That it is. Anyway, you asked for an explanation. It would be extremely difficult to getting an audience with Princess Little. Grocery store. I will not acquiesce! And I'm not about to stop you. There's no way in if we can't get past this drawbridge. There must be a way! I wonder if there is. It would be nice to meet King Lewis and Princess Little like the grocery store at least once. <laughs> Just all like... Mm, mm, mm. That castle kind of looks like a Minecraft structure, bro. It fucking does. That's literally someone's Minecraft build over there. Kind of funny. 
What if, perchance, since it's Princess Little like the grocery store, it's just a grocery store in there. And that's just it. That's it. That's how they've survived. They're just surrounded by food. Well, that shit's like the fucking. <laughs> well, that shit's like the fucking uh, IKEA SCP. That would be funny. Welcome back. <laughs> Just go inside all I'm bombarded with this furniture and Swedish meatballs. SCP-3008. Bro, I could never remember, like, the, uh... I could never remember the... Like... Fucking numbers. I could never do that. I remember a few. I couldn't. <laughs> very, very few. Or there's some people that are dedicated to that shit. Don't fuck with SCP people. There we go. Everything's ready for tomorrow. Welcome back. Now I see. Now I eat. And get a sippy. Cellar wheat times two. 110 gorillas. Yay, no events. Ooh, we got a letter from Emo. Got a letter from the Emo. See you later. <laughs> Not the goth. Or the punk. But the emo. Fuck, what, fuck, what fucking voice do I give her? You like music, Rise? The children have asked me to teach them how to sing. I have never been a teacher before, but I am excited to try. If you visit Shutola, then I would like to teach Ola you too. I hope you will visit again soon, Ola. I think it will be a lot of fun. Emo. Oh boy. <clears throat> <sighs> Castle Lewis Times! News Extra! Princess Coming of Age! Greetings, citizens! The Princess of Lewis's Coming of Age ceremony was recently held! Having come of age, we now expect that she will be taking a more active administration role like Slide the King! Look out for enhanced operations from our most noble Lewis royal family, Castle Lewis Intelligence Division. Let's see here. Oh god, she's sending us letters! The fucking crazy girl is sending us letters! <laughs> I've been agonizing every day trying to find a suitable house for us here in Arjeen. You could join me so that we can look for a place together, you know? I don't mind. Reminds me, I heard whispers on the wind of some unsavory types turning up at the bartender's place. Is that true? If it is, then you best do everything in your power to help it out. Love, Nina. And let's see here. Huh? Thank you again for finding Berg. Not only you, but Cress and Lai too. So many people have come to our rescue, but now is not the time to get complacent, you. I will continue to wait until Berg opens his eyes again, you. <laughs> Guys, I hope you will come and check on him when you have time. Perhaps talking to him will help him regain consciousness from Sheeran. Let's see here. Maracorn's still going. Breast lettuce, though. Got that growing. Bowen. There we go. Time for the huge shipping box. It's all but one. How are all these people even getting your address? That's what I was thinking. Granted, Nina's a, Nina's a stalker, and uh, Sheeran lives in Laith, and I'm right by Laith. So the, 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 those make sense, but some others, well, I guess they're friends. I don't know, maybe it's not that unreasonable. Maybe we're just maybe we're just doxing ourselves to every single person we meet. <laughs> just like I've known you for five seconds. Here is my address, every crop I am growing, my real name, and here is my credit card number. And the funny three numbers on the back. See you later. <laughs> you're gonna have to you're gonna have to fucking uh, work for the expiration date though. Um up here. I think I watered my plants. I'll take care of it later. 
Do I think they're already watered? This is the water fairy. He thinks. Maybe. Hmm. Could be worse. Could be in Shatola. Let's see if we can get any new stuff built. Fuck you. Fuck you for not being open 24 7. How dare you have a life? How dare you not have a million underpaid workers keeping your gas station open just so a couple people can buy some things? What the fuck is this? Why is the music so intense? <laughs> Hello, sir and or madam. You have known me for about 50 seconds, so here's my card with my full address, my plans, and my respective fighting ability. <laughs> Rise, you have to come quick. It's Berg! He... Did he wake up? Well, not really, but... Oh, I mean, yes, he did. It's just... Now I can't find him anywhere. I went to his house to see how he was doing, but it was completely empty. Didn't even leave a note. What do you think I should do? Hmm. We have to go look for him. You're right. Please help me find Berg. I hope he doesn't become an iceberg. Couldn't have gotten very far. We may be able to learn more if we ask around the village. Let's go! Ready, let's see here. Who got the info on the berg? Info on the berg over here. Uh. <sighs> Fuck, I'm tired. I did not get good sleep last night. You're looking for Berg. I wish you could help, but I haven't seen him around. I heard he was sleeping on this time. Did he finally wake up? He did. I went to check on him this morning, but the house was completely empty. I'm sorry to hear that, Sharon. I'm afraid we haven't seen hide nor hair of him. Thank you anyway. Sorry for borrowing you. I hope you find him soon. If we see or hear anything, then we'll let you know right away. Please do. I'm on your right. Another dead end. Nobody's seen Berg anywhere. Where on earth could he have gone? I think he left the village? Oh, is that thing your pet or something? You mean Little Rye or you mean the woman? Because <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> She's very much going for Berg. First off, <laughs> welcome in Coral Reef, hope you're having a good day today. Alternatively, you could be meaning Circuit, and that would be accurate. <laughs> uh, the chat's not fucking scrolling. Not in the game, lol. Uh, this is Lil Rye. He is a... <laughs> I was hoping he'd hear that. <laughs> Uh, but no, this is Little Rai. He's, uh... For right now, I've kind of just said that he's the government's attempt at trying to, like, clone me. And he just escaped and just came here. And now he just hangs around. And he's a text speech. You can make him say dumb shit. Observe. Your mom gay. Like that. Exactly like that. <laughs> uh... But yeah, he's just, he's just a little guy. He's just a little fellow. He eats rocks occasionally, and sometimes other people. Don't worry about it. You're safe, probably. <laughs> uh, uh Sheeran? Oh, yes. I heard you were searching for Berg. Exclamation point! Did you see him? You have to tell me where. I, I saw him heading towards Shade Forest early this morning. So he did leave the village. Something wasn't right. He looked like someone was really eating him up inside. I don't know what it could have been, but you need to find him quick. It might be a parasite. Come on, Rise. We need to go to Jade Forest. Let's bring Berg home. We will. We must. Wait for me, Berg. I won't let you leave me behind again. Alright. Not what I wanted to do. Return home. Saving Private Berg. 
Dude, I love in Helldivers the maximum rank that you can get now is Take private and super private. For the highest level, and it's just a fucking. It's just a Starship Troopers reference, and that's funny. Ugh. I can't wait to play some Helldivers after this. Some of my friends will likely be on. So I can play with them. This day, I still have yet to read, watch Starship Troopers. I watched an everything great about Starship Troopers video. That's about my uh, exposure to it. It's funny. And a little uh, unnerving at times. I hope you bring back souvenirs. I'm not bringing shit for you. Because y'all talk when I talk. And then I get fucking confused because I am weird in that if somebody is talking when I'm talking, um, I, I, the, like I just I just shut down. Like literally, I will just like shut the fuck up. <laughs> and if I try to talk, it's just like it's, it's like really like slurred. Especially, like especially when like so when I was testing this mic and I had like a monitor on so I could hear it when I was talking. Like, I, bro, I can't even say a single fucking sentence. It's so weird. You discombobulate? Yes, literally. I, I discombobulate. Like I, like, I just cease functioning. So, like, when I'm testing out this mic, and, like, I'm hearing it through my phone headphones while I'm talking, it's just, it's just, like, a sentence for me will just... Here, I'll even demonstrate. I can just do it right now. I just fucking do it right now. Where's, uh, where's my mic? There it is. All right. So this is exactly what it's like, like for 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 when I, and I <laughs> bro, this, this is gonna be such a weird clip. <laughs> like I my my brain just doesn't work. When this is happening, it's weird. <laughs> okay, you get one more. Okay, turning it off. There we go. <laughs> I can only imagine how that's going to sound. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, I was like... Local dragon gets confused hearing his own echo. Oh, yes, exactly. That's exactly what's going on. Uh. Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> Just like. Why are you saying. Why are you saying sounds that come out of mouth? Why why your mouth makes sounds my mouth do not make sense? Stop. <laughs> I, I I forget how to speak. Send help. <laughs> uh, no thoughts, head empty. Only thing I want to do is bang Cress. Okay, um, fucking cruel automata. God, there's so many fucking quests, bro. So many fucking quests. I'm just going to go to Shatola. Oh wait, no, we have to save Berg. Ugh. I have to save people. Stop them from dying. This is bullshit. He's at this set circuit on fire. He's all the way up there. Hold on. Taking a shortcut. Also known as Milla Jr. Okay. There we go. Bro, they really- I've noticed they really like to put quests over there. In that specific spot. What if you had like 5 million quests that were doing the same fucking spot? That'd be kinda hot. <laughs> Arg. Berg, I finally found you! Sheeran. Why did you disappear? I was so worried. Dot dot dot. 
But that's not important right now. Come on, let's go back to Lathe. You haven't fully recovered yet. The monster finds it. I'm sorry, Sheeran. I cannot return to Lathe. Huh? Why not? What are you saying? Why would you come back? Why would you say that? So I don't deserve you. What does that mean? I heard from the people of the village about what happened after I left. You waited for me all that time. And all I was doing was eating dirt, being dragged by my legs. I kind of started to like the taste of it after some point. They told me to quit waiting, that I was just wasting my time. They told me so often. But I knew you would return to me, Berg. Dot dot dot. And that is why you deserve better. Berg? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for stealing that time away from you. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. I want you to forget about me. It's for the best. For the best? I can't believe you would say this to me now. Sheer and... You know what? Do whatever the hell you like. Go wherever the hell you like. And I'll forget about you. Just like you asked. Dot dot dot. You're the worst. So brother, be honest with me. Were you gay with that one guy? Or like... You think so? There's so many men out there who are more deserving of her. I just want her to be happy. I think this is the best way to make sure of that. Didn't think to ask how she feels, dumbass. <laughs> how Sheeran feels. How wife feels. Female thoughts, emotions, opinions. Does not compute. Stop. Must. Respect. Hawk. She doesn't think you stole her time. <laughs> but I, woman, opinion, talk, communication, healthy relationship, do not compute. You're right. I'll talk to her. So there's a good chance she won't take me back after everything I said. Definitely need to apologize. Let's go back to leave. She's probably still at my house. That was some of the... I'ma be real. That was... Stupid. <laughs> okay, that was, that was kind of stupid. Just kind of... Uh, hello there. I heard a capture card go weird. Let me make sure that is okay. Rise of your jump scare. There we go. Okay, that should take care of it. Back on my bullshit. Away we go. I didn't even get to punch anything. I didn't even get to light circuit on fire. The game sucks. All right, back to Leafy. Let me also save. There we go. Going back. On our way. I have no dry leaves to eat. I'm going to starve. I've gotten used to the crunch. Gotten used to the crunch, to the texture, to the dryness. Bastard, you got here before me. Fuck you. Sheeran, it's me. I need to talk to you. Would you come out, please? There's nothing to talk about. I want to apologize for what I said. We don't have to talk right this second, but when you're feeling ready to listen... I'd like you to meet me at our spot. Brother, you're a fucking dumbass. Are you really okay with this? Oh, Rise, I'm sorry. Would you go after him? Tell him not to bother waiting. I know he'll just sit out there forever otherwise. I think you should go, though. Less walking for me. 
Heinberg and Yord stuff on Archpay. You'll know it when you see it anyway. Fuck you. Fuck you. Woman, you have legs. Or are they already getting fucking knocked out of commission by some other guy at the moment? Did we jump ship that quickly? Come to me. It has been two hours. <laughs> That ain't a fucking rebound. That's a fucking... Ain't a fucking rebound. That's That shit just went straight through like a fucking window. Please, come again. <laughs> He's saying like, please, come again. Okay. Off to Yard Step, aka not Gar Plains. All right, back we go. Where, oh, where, where, oh, where? In the middle. Any, th any weird shit I can eat. Oh, I don't have to use my food food. No. Damn. Oh god, he's coming. All I got was a hard stone. Stay back. Your ass being in the camera will not stop me. Nice 12 damage, dumbass. Weak ass bitches. Bitches. Is that rise? Sheeran isn't with you, is she? I guess you're my new wife now. She wants you to stop waiting. She really said that? Dot dot dot. I'm still gonna wait. I hate to think about how much time Sheeran wasted waiting for me. Besides, if we're going to talk, it has to be here. This place special or something? Sheeran and I made a promise here. We were children. We ran out of the village and came all the way out here. We just hung out staring at the scenery right up until the sun started to set. It's pitch black out by the time we got home. Man, the adults gave us such an earful. That was a long time ago. I'm sorry you wasted your time coming out here, but I'm not moving. I'm waiting for Sheeran. You don't have to wait with me, obviously. This is something I need to do. And I'll wait with you anyway. Really? You don't have anywhere else to be? You really are soft touch, but I appreciate the company. We're gonna steal her man. We're gonna steal her man, chat. She's gonna suffer the consequences of her actions. Nope. We'll continue to wait. Why did you become a soldier? Why, wow, huh? It was a few years ago. Back in 19 odd seven, Sheeran's always been stubborn. She never listened once she set her heart on something. And I wanted to protect her. I wanted to become strong, just like her. So I enlisted. Dot, dot, dot. Looks like the sun's starting to set. What do you want to do? I don't think there's any reason for you to sit out here any longer. <laughs> well, if you say so, bye bye Oh, wait. Really? Alright, let's keep it going. We're gonna do it. Operation Steal Your Man is a go, chat. It's gonna get dark soon. Sheeran really isn't coming, is she? I guess it really was selfish of me to ask this of her. Not going back to Leith? That's the plan. I'm staying put. What about you? If you're going to stick around, then we might as well make camp. I like camping. 
I thought you might say that. All right, let's get set up. And we just gotta put our sleeping bag next to his. Not the promise I made to Shun here. I promised I would get stronger so I could protect her. When that time comes, I want her to marry me. My promise is way past its expiration date, you know? Oh, wait, shit, that's her. Cheering. Eh, it's about time. Yeah, well, thank you for coming, Sheeran. What else was I to do? You would have waited here until the world froze over, over otherwise. So what did you want to talk about? I want to apologize. And ask how you felt back at the Jade Forest. I'm so sorry. Dot, dot, dot. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I still need to apologize anyway. I'm not going to forgive you. You said you stole my time. Who are you to decide what that... But who are you to decide whether that time was stolen or not? Cheering. There wasn't a second of my life that I wasted waiting for you. And yet you decided that was the case without once considering or asking how I felt. Sorry. Always been like this, making assumptions without asking. Thinking I'd keep a promise like that all this time. How stupid can you be? Dot dot dot. Berg's sorry for what he did. I can see that. I'm not letting this go. The answer lies in why you left me behind, you know. So, you can apologize all you like, but I'm not going to drop this. Promise me. Promise me you won't leave me again. Hear him. Promise I won't leave you again. Never forget those words. I have one more promise I want you to make. Promise me you'll consider my feelings next time you're feeling heroic. Stop deciding these things on your own. I want us to figure out things together. Make decisions together. But I promise to protect you. Weren't you listening? I already told you, that promise expired. From now on, we protect each other. Understood? We need to do this, otherwise there's no point even being together. Dot dot dot. You're right. Good. We're in agreement, then. Thank you, Sheeran. <sighs> all's well that ends well. Thank you for all your help, Rise. You ready to head back to life? Uh, wait a moment. Wasn't there something you wanted to give me? Well, I mentioned something about it before. I didn't ask what it was, but he said it was really important. It's a ring. I'm going to ask you to marry me. The monster stole it during the attack when we were on our way back to Lathe. Oh, is that all? Is that all? Well, you can do whatever, right? You have your entire life to propose left to propose. You're in. A ring stolen by a monster? Guys, do you know something? That's the ring, but why do you have it? Of course, a monster you fought back at the forest. So you took out the monster and made off with my ring, huh? Are you gonna give it to her? Dumbass, do something right! Do something right for five seconds! Save, save your fucking relationship! Holy shit, you suck! Sheeran, you can give it to me once you've given it a good clean, but only after that. Now let's go. To be honest, she's kind of not the best partner either, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I mean, Burr, I mean, Burr, like, fucked up massively. But also, like... Eh. Getting bad vibes off Sheeran, too. Even considering that situation. I don't know, man. This relationship's a mess. Let me make sure you scrub it well. Lord. Damn, I camped out all night and I only got 1,500 gorillas. You get a new recipe, though. Copper ore. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Brother, he was waiting there the entire fucking time. 
<laughs> just like, uh, I follow you all the way here, but I'm not gonna interrupt this moment. I'll just stand here until it's over. Man waited as long as we did. Respect. A picnic sandwich. Late vegetable salad. There's a queue of creatures waiting. <laughs> just like, can y'all wrap this shit up, please? Thank you. Vegetable salad. Salad. Okay, uh, anything I can craft? Make as many return bells as I can. Which is one. Plenty of repair kits right now. Be good ish. See you later. Let's grab one of the lettuces out of here. So I can make the picnic the picnic sandwich. Picnic sandwich. <laughs> A sandwich bursting with fillings. It's literally filled with fucking lettuce and nothing else. My guy. Alright. That's funny. Alright. Let's just hit the bay. Hey, said a fun, quirky way. Summer breeze, day five. Remodeling the Pisola. Take care out there. Okay. Letter. Apologies for the sun leather, but I'm worried about Hine. He's not been looking too hot, hasn't been sleeping, and barely eats. Anyway, can you check on him in his atelier when you got him in it? Or don't. I ain't your boss. Just to let you know, I accepted the ring from Berg after you left. I can't believe you were holding on to it all this time. I don't think this ever could have happened if you weren't there to slay that monster that was spreading terror in the Jade Forest. Can't thank you enough for the happiness you have brought Berg and me, but still, thank you. Oh Lord, that is not going to be a, that is not going to be a good relationship. Born, 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 born. Let's give it our. Do you want to work on the farm today? You know. Given how the microphone has its little quirk of not quite picking up my consonants if I say a word immediate, uh, if I say a word first. Um. Corn. Y'all fill in the blanks on that one. <laughs> I'm hoping that got picked up how I think it got picked up by the mic. see what awaits us. I may have this stream be two hours, I'm unsure. Maybe I'll go an hour, 30 minutes. Hour, 30 minutes. I mean, two hours, 30 minutes sounds good. So I want it to be longer than two, but I don't want to go for three. I want to play Helldivers with my twins. Okay. Back to Shatola. One million years. One million years, Shatola.
My vision is nothing but blue and white. 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 <laughs> Fuck off. Fine, we'll go to his atelier. <sighs> Hello, Heine. I like that the door is open because he's just constantly weak. <laughs> Poco and Shatola blinks but with both eyes out of sync. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. Just. I can't do it on my model, unfortunately. The blinking's linked. Like. That's my left eye. I'm just winking. And that's my right. I, I install winking. Maybe next model. Maybe next model I'll install winking. No, this won't do it at all. She needs to be stronger. Better. Faster. I know what I could do to improve it, but that'll take some time. And all I have is a fucking typewriter. Ah, you teleported behind me. Nothing personnel, kid. Uh -huh. yeah, I didn't want to disturb you. I see. Apologies. Was considering adding some improvements to the Fia Sola, but I'm puzzling about what to do exactly. I took her out into the water a little while ago to look for a present for a pretty lady. But then I realized that the Fia Sola's hole isn't strong enough to dive to the levels I would like her to. Bitch, didn't we go to the bottom of the fucking ocean? I mean, maybe you went deeper, but. My guy! Uh, the sea gets that deep? It does indeed, and I created the Fiasola in order to finally penetrate those depths. Uh, which I suppose means adding those reinforcements is essential. But essential or not, it won't be an easy feat. To be frank, instead of Hein, doing it alone would require a great deal of time indeed. Snap! That's it. I don't suppose you'd be interested in having me improve the Fiasola. I'll pay you back in kind, of course. What do you say? Absolutely, as long as you pay me. We are here for money, not friendship. I know what I'm asking for is a lot, so I am grateful for your help. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, what, now? No need to worry, we have everything we need right here in the atelier. Okay, Rise, let's get inventing. Work with Hein goes smoothly. Whew. Shall we take a little break, Rise? Eh, uh, how much more do we have left to do? It's coming along, but we're running out of material we need to strengthen the armor. It's a crucial element, too. I thought I had more than enough in here in the Atelier, but I'm surprised it's run out so quickly. Hmm, I could use my connections to get in touch with a good merchant, I suppose. But I don't have the budget for that. This is my Atelier, though, so it's up to me to provide the supplies somehow. I'll think of something. Eh, well, I'm here to help. Oh, rise. I'll go get the materials for you. Actually, thanks. You're right. You're here now, so I don't have to do it all by myself anymore, do I? I got so used to working on my own that it didn't even cross my mind. I'll take you up on the offer, and it would be very helpful if you could get the materials we need. I'll write up a list of the materials we will need and send it to you later in a letter. Does that mean we're done for the day? Yes, that's all for now, so I'd leave you hang. I'll get a list to you as soon as I can, so please be patient for me for a little while. 
Thank you for your help today. Let's call it a day. See you soon, right? And there we go. Game should have done a discrete dice roll to see if the working on the sub went bad, and if it did, it would have displayed the work on the sub went very bad. <laughs> that would be funny. I don't have to work all on my own. Anyway, I better start with writing that list for Rise. I'm liking Heinz Quest. It's actually really good. This work on the sub went very bad. That would be funny. Cutscene doesn't even change either. It just it, it just says it went bad. And that's why you need more materials. It went good. You should still need more materials. Get fucked, loser. God fucking Hello there, Emo. Alright, thank you for visiting again. I have a promise to fulfill with the children today. It should be here any moment. Emo! <laughs> Hello, you two. We're here. Can we start the lesson already? I want to grow up and have a pretty voice just like you. Uh. Ooh, will you teach me too? <laughs> oh, really? You're welcome to join. Hey, Emo! Who's your friend? I know, I know! There's someone Emo fancies! Fancies? He's not fancy at all. Look at him. He's wearing fucking booty shorts. I wanna. Hmm. Do we riz? Do I live up to my namesake? And riz up the fish. Hmm. Hmm. We'll lay the groundwork. We'll sow, we'll sow the seeds in this farming game. Lovers? I don't think I understand. Palpatine says do it. <laughs> Can I get some Riz ears in the chat, please? I don't get it either. It's, you know, like m mom and dad stuff. No, no, no. They're married, stupid. I know that! You can be married and lovers too, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Circuit. Oh, you mean like Esla? Esla? <laughs> Whatever, enough about the lovey-dovey stuff. I want to practice already. Right, that's what we're here for. Come this way, you two. It's time to begin our lesson. Step one. Scream at the ocean. <laughs> Emo gives the children a great singing lesson. <laughs> the role when you get a bad singing lesson is what I just did. <laughs> is visiting the aquarium. <laughs> Dude, there's someone on my Steam that is booted up Stardew Valley like 10 times in the past, like, 15 minutes. I have seen this person is playing Stardew Valley so many times. Brother, is everything okay over there? <laughs> I would check, but there's reasons I can't. I don't want to, to be honest. You're both getting very good. I'm happy we can cover so much and still have a lot of fun together. Yay! <laughs> Everyone's gonna think I'm awesome at the next sea shanty practice. Oh man, where's cringe? Where's cringe, ninja? 
Um, Emo, do you mind if I invite some friends next time? If they're happy to have me as their teacher, then please do. Eehee! Hmm. You must get a lot of lesson requests. It's like Emo's a teacher now or something. A teacher? Me? I'm gonna call her Miss Emo from now on. Oh my gosh, that's perfect! Um... Thanks for the lesson, Miss Emo. I look forward to the next one, Miss Emo. Oh, okay. Really okay for them to think of me as a teacher? I don't see why not. Guys. Probably make a great teacher. Think so? Dot, dot, dot. Never considered it. I always thought singing at the tavern was enough. But teaching the children was a lot of fun. I've done this exactly once, and I am willing to change my entire career path on a dime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do I want to keep singing at the tavern for everyone? Or become a singing teacher? What else do you think I could do? I would love if there was a choice to just be like, change your career. Change your career right now. Open up a school. Invest in real estate. Buy supplies. <laughs> Put out signs in your front lawn. <laughs> I'll be going back to the tavern now. Please do visit again soon, Rise. Here's another Stardew Valley from that person. Jesus Christ. And collect a shell. At least I assume I'm collecting a shell. Dude, now... <laughs> now someone else is playing Stardew Valley. What is going on? <laughs> Why is everyone on Stardew Valley on Steam at the moment? Hold on, I'm looking into this. I, 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 is, is there something I'm not aware of? Let's see here, friends. Uh, Stardew Valley, Stardew Valley. Two people playing Stardew Valley. have one friend in common. I was wondering, low-key, are these two people just happening to play together right now? The answer is no. Turning Steam back off. Reopening OBS. Oh shit, an ad break. Uh, let's do... Let's do a show first. What kind of shell should you take, Cherry? Hi! What you do? Okay, no. I. We'll, we'll leave Isabella to do, uh... We'll leave Isabella to do things. Quick, everyone start playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> It'd be funny. I'm playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing Final Fantasy Stardew Valley. So, you know what, everything, everything tracks. Okay, uh, we'll leave, uh, we'll leave uh, Isabella for after the ad break. Uh, so this is going to be a great time for all y'all to get some drinks, get some water, get some snacks, do whatever y'all humans need to do. And as soon as we're back, we'll go for a little longer, not a full hour, but once we do get back, We'll go ahead and uh, deal with um, this net Phineas and Ferb episode that I'm now being thrust into. So, with all that being said, bye for now.
Hey, howdy, everybody. Welcome back. Hope y'all had a good break. Hope y'all got done what you need to get done. Let's go ahead and get back into things real quick like. And all right. Phineas and Ferb episode. Let's go. Can I play too? Looking for a shell to give someone. It's a present for someone? Okay, I'll help. Rather than choosing it on your own, let's choose together. Hehe, <laughs> okay, I'll go and look over here. This one's nice, isn't it? Wow, that's so pretty. It's so big and shiny. You have a shell just like that at home. Oh, did you know my dad told me the secret about shells? He said if you hold a shell up to your ear, you can hear the sea. Or something about the blood in your ear. I prefer the sea. For now. I hope they like it. Oops, I almost forgot. It's home time. Bye bye, I hope your crush likes it. Hee <laughs> hee, see ya. That girl got the wrong idea. <laughs> you got the shell, take it to Sherry, bro. Everybody think I'm the fuck. Everybody think I'm Razier for real. For real, for real. Oh, I never put my corn away. This is sad. Okay, I think that's everything. No, the fucking. Let me in! Open the gate! Ah! Uh, this is obnoxious. I hate waiting. This doesn't make y'all motion sick, does it? This doesn't make y'all motion sick, does it? This doesn't make y'all motion sick, does it? Can't jump on the tables either. Why even live, bros? There we go. Ask me a drink, bartender. Mm, what should I do? Can't be away from the tavern for too long. I'm here if you want to talk about it, buddy. Huh? Oh, right. I didn't see you there. I was just thinking about how to handle a certain situation. See, the plaque that's usually hung up on the wall there has gone missing. That a plaque? Yeah, but you probably never noticed it. It's nothing fancy. It's important, though. That plaque is our business license. It's all right for now, but I'll be in trouble if I don't find it soon. Hopefully it was just a drunk customer who took it home by accident. It would be a real nuisance if it got stolen. I just want to find it before word gets out. Right, so I have a huge favor to ask you. Could you look for the plaque for me, please? I would go and look for it myself, but I can't stay away from the tavern too long. Me, well, if I don't get the plaque back, I would appreciate your help. If you stop asking the customers, the person who took it might be right under our noses. Let me know if you find anything. Can't wait for it to just, like, have fallen behind a shelf or something. That'd be funny. Fucking tell me it's that easy to steal an entire business. <laughs> Shit, man. I've been doing life wrong. The real strong strategy right here is right here. Just go into a restaurant, just take their fucking license off the shelf. You say plaque. I don't know of any plaque. Plaque? What's a plaque? Oh, someone stole it. They stole my money too. They got me again, those Baishims. That's slur. Ah, these two again. Hello, youngin. What are you up to this time? A 
plaque. Doesn't ring any bells. I've seen Ren before. On my teeth. I use my toothbrush to get it off. Oh my, that sounds important. Do you know something about it? Actually, I did see someone hovering around it a few days ago. Who was it again? I've seen that face somewhere. Mm, sorry, I can't remember. I hope you find the plate or whatever it's called. The plate. I was about to say, did this guy bring his fucking daughter with him? Like, is it like child daughter? He looks small with the table blocking her legs. I heard you're looking for something. And you should try checking around the beach. All sorts of things get washed up there. Oh, the tavern's plaque? I don't think someone like that would end up there. Unless someone dropped it in the sea or threw it on purpose. Anything I can give this lady. Have you brought us a meal? The seasons. Oh, there was someone loitering around it before? Well, I would hate to accuse a customer, but that might be the person who took it. Check around the beach just in case for me, please, Raz. Thank you, I appreciate it. Report what you found to the bartender, sir. I learned fucking nothing, literally. <laughs> well, I guess I'll check the beach. <laughs> Find a washed up fucking plaque. Find the washed up plaque. My fucking mouthwash. I hope I find it. Washed up on the beach. No shit. Oh no. Oh, it's another kid. Why do they all say... Children, broaden your vocabulary, please. <sighs> That's a nice shiny rock sound here. Have you seen anything other than rocks? Nah, just rocks. Oh, is the thing you're looking for really shiny? Then you probably won't find it here. That Sahagin take all the shiny stuff. They even took rocks from me that I found fair and square. Don't you believe me? Watch this. Whoosh! A side game will come any minute now. Gub gub. <laughs> you did so aggressively. Gub. See, look. It's true. See, I'm not a liar. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty stone. I bet that's what happened to your plaque, too. Hasagi probably took it down to the sea with them. The plaque is under the sea. Yeah, that's too bad. The sea is huge. Hasagi could be anywhere. Wait, do you know where they live? Whoa, really? Then you should be able to get your thing back. For the coral shrine. Ah! I don't want to go under the ocean. Just let the bar die. It'll be fine. People need to have their livers anyway. It works out. Child, I never mentioned a pack. What are you hiding? <laughs> Unironically. <laughs> Honestly, it could be just... Um something the devs missed. It's possible. Yeah, how am I go over here? I'm just curious. Silent cave. Exploring.
Hmm. Danger. Oh, I see it's not a one-off area. It's 100% just oversight. This game doesn't strike me as one that choices matter. Yeah, unfortunately. Whoa. There's hidden areas on the map? That's cool as shit. More over that way. Oh. I mean, does the cave lead anywhere, or... Hey, look at this. Uh, head through the cave in the southwest to the holy capital. Yeah, so I do have to go through that. Let's try and wrap up like one. Well, let's go see asshole. You have to go to Heaven's Egg, right? There's a lot going on here. Let's talk to him first. He's actually present. So this is Heaven's Egg, huh? We gotta find her. I can't bear the thought of her, be the thought of her being in a place like this all her own. Nothing. Not a single sodden clue. I just know that the brigade will change her too. We can find any tiny clue that she's still here. Come on, let's keep going. Let me know if you find anything, no matter how small it might be. And asshole. Thank you for coming, Rice. Shall we get moving? We need to try to find some clue as to what's going on. It's feeling that we might find something in Heaven's Egg. Look, it's a dragon. So they have been coming outside again. We should kill quickly. Dot, dot, dot. It's not doing anything. Don't suppose it's just popping out for a breath of fresh air. It literally was popping out for a breath of fresh air. You're right, I didn't feel any aggression from it at all. If anything, I feel it might be inviting us to follow. What do you think we should do, Rise? Let's kill it. Alright, might lead us to some sort of clue. Dot dot dot. It's going to be danger no matter what option we choose. Follow. Looks like Dragon went deep into Heaven's Egg. So just how deep do I have to go? Well, I suppose I can just warp. Just keep warping till I see something on the map. Strats. Oh yeah, right. So while I was moving, I played through the very first Ace Attorney game. Hey, yo! Nice! What'd you think? Uh, really liked it. Gotcha. What was your favorite case? Did you uh did you play the one that had uh Rise from the Ashes in it? Cause uh re-releases of the game had uh, added uh Rise from the Ashes. Because it was really released on the DS and it was like, whoa! We didn't do like 3D stuff. Let's make a new case with this. The case five, yeah. The really long one. 
You will know what I am talking about. Hmm. Nice. From what I hear, Rise from the Ashes has more dialogue in it, like more text that rivals even like novels <laughs> and exceeds them, which I find very funny. Let me know, uh, my favorite was Case 4, by the way. Case 4 is really good. Case 4 is really, really good. That shit was what made Ace Attorney what it was. The fan base, at least. Hmm. Uh, did you buy, um, did you buy the trilogy in order to play it, or did you play it some other way? Just curious if you have Justice for All, and you're going to that next. Nothing here either. Maybe we'll find something we keep going further on. Play it some other way, yes, gotcha. Huh. I don't know where else she could be. But yeah, Justice for All is the next one on the list. A lot of people are don't like Justice for All that much. I think it is good. Justice for All, Last Trial is the best in the series. It's a contender for sure. It is one of my favorite. Justice for All overall is um a bit iffy with some people. I think it's fine. I don't think it's as overall as good as the first game, but like uh, Coral Reef is saying, the last case in that game is amazing. And totally worth it. Give greetings to the Hokage of Grange. Welcome in, Cringe Ninja. Hope you're doing good. Though, eh, we won't be doing, we won't be going for too much longer. I'm probably gonna either finish one or both of these quests and we're gonna top it off there. I'm probably gonna come in and play Helldivers with y'all. So, uh, look forward to me. <laughs> All we can do is keep following the strat. Something's coming. Are those monsters? Yeah, I just woke up myself. Ah. Huh? It's holding something! Steal it! No, it can't be. Why do you have that? That scarf belongs to Mora. You ate her, didn't you? Damn it! Can't take them on your own. Fine, these monsters are all yours. Guys, you know what it's time for? It's time to light circuit on fire! <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> we went the whole stream without lighting Circuit on fire. saw two of them get on hell divers too <laughs> oh yeah i learned that i learned that this is a global emo i fucking hate that i will add that to the ban list let's go back to pneumonia we found what we came for i'll give you hope i ain't giving up but i am done for the day let's go back to pneumonia Damn, I'm about, I, I, I think I'm not going to be able to join him. <laughs> it's already three out of four. My pizza is good. That's my hot take. Circuit, can you time out Corey for two seconds, please? Okay, thanks. Fringe Ninja 2, time them both out for two seconds. I cannot silence the truth. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking traitor. Get it with Alfredo sauce? Bro, what is this authoritarianism? It's not, it's just silencing misinformation, Corey. Don't worry about it too much. I'm just operating as the Ministry of Truth. That's all.
We're, we're preserving the election or something. I don't fucking know. Wet footprints. Okay, uh, nothing. Let's go to the seat of the Dargan. Let's try the outer stairway again. Backwards. Or are they really gonna make me explore the whole area? Brother. How deep in here did they go? I'm just gonna go backwards from Sea of the Dragon, see if we can't get anywhere. Missing something. Follow the dragon deeper into the heaven's egg. That's all it says. Damn, I haven't even looked at my jobs. Come on, I need to upgrade circuits. Uh, setting circuit on fire. Damn, you need so much. You need that much JP. Granted, I haven't really been playing game at all. Silence. Uh. I'ma just go home. <laughs> okay. Uh, kitchen counter. I can't make food. I will starve. Granted, I like never fucking feed myself in this game. <laughs> I actively avoid doing it. <laughs> Oh, my corn! See you later. Forgot all about my corn. A kern. Okay. Kern. Kern. Through. There we go. Also have some. Uh, I also have some seeds, so it's gonna just gonna yeah. Fiery one fell asleep in my flight earlier. I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening to any of you. Alright, let's hit the hay. Let's hit, assuming there's no things greeting us when we wake up. God, corn is expensive. Corn sells big number. Four hundred for corn. Emo and the confession. <laughs> you know what? We'll read the letters real quick. We'll read the letter. Someone with a scary look on their face at the bar. It did not change no matter what kind of song I sang. They did not look at me as that they were having fun at all. I told the bartender, but I'm still worried. What should I do, Rise? Well, I'm sure Emo is fine. <laughs> Nothing bad could ever happen to Emo. <sighs> Alrighty. Close that up. Power button. We're gonna turn the music back on and then we're gonna find ourselves somebody to raid now, shall we? Welcome back. I am now big. I am large. 
Lorge Dargon. Alrighty. Ah. I already know that Twitch is not going to show me everyone I am actually capable of raiding, so I'm going to look. Uh, couple of people. But I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send Circuit to the other mines. And I can send him to the reigning lunar merchant merchant again because I like to I like to keep circuit busy. I can't I can't let him get I can't let him get too comfortable. I can't I I gotta make sure he doesn't slack off and I make sure he, he's put to the utmost efficiency at every opportunity. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's stream for today. As for what's gonna be going on tomorrow, Ace Attorney. Just like last week, and the week before that, week before that. Y'all know what's going on right now at this point. <laughs> uh, but it's going to be a fun stream. I always look forward to playing Ace Attorney. Sparka now understands why I'm like that now. <laughs> but, uh, and then day after that, we're going to be doing more art. And I really need to look into uh, things in regards to how to shade metal. I think I have a good tutorial uh, bookmark, though. So I'm probably going to reference that for that. But, yeah, ideally... I'm going to make it my goal to try and finish that on Friday. I'm going to try. The one, there's some other things I need to get to draw on. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. So, Yeah, that's what we can look forward to for uh, the rest of the week. Outside of that, I'm not going to keep you all too much longer. Hope you all had a good time. Hope you all have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you all are. Whatever the fuck you all are doing. And you all have a good one.